Welcome to Keeping In Sync for this week, the 23rd of May. I had a great birthday. Thanks for asking and thanks for all your presents. Now, just a reminder that um, the updates that I'm talking through this week may change from a date perspective or you may not see them at all due to your organizational settings. So please don't shoot a messenger. Um, And also a reminder that Internet Explorer 11 is scheduled for being uh, retirement on June 15th of this year, so very soon. Uh, If you're still using it, it is time to switch to Microsoft Edge. Now, on with the show with Microsoft 365 Apps and Services. Now, if you've added a shortcut using the Add to OneDrive option, you'll soon be able to rename it to something more meaningful uh, than its original name, if you want to do that. Uh, you'll be able to rename the shortcut by selecting the shortcut in your OneDrive and clicking the rename uh, command in the command bar or the context menu. And when you rename the shortcut, the name change will be reflected um, only for you and will also be available wherever you see that shortcut um, available, whether it's in an Office app or OneDrive itself. Um, And yeah, only you will see it. So this is rolling out early to mid-June. Now, Microsoft is also giving the uh, admins the ability to customize the quarantine email that you receive to include an organizational logo, uh, use an organizational email address, so it comes up in the from address, and even change the subject of the notification. Uh, This is actually rolling out late July to early August, uh, but look for communications, hopefully, from your IT team as to when they also, hopefully, uh, enable it in your organization so you don't treat it as phishing email. Now, also in the world of email, um, you may have seen a mention somewhere in your travels around the web um, of a new version of Outlook becoming available. Uh, In fact, it was actually leaked recently, and so Microsoft has put in place IT uh, controls so that admins can restrict the ability for you to to get access to it. Now, as someone who has actually tried it themselves, uh, you are not missing out on much. It's pretty much just Outlook on the web, but in a desktop app. Uh, which you can already do today. If you go into Edge, you can actually install what's called a progressive web app um, simply by going into Outlook on the web in Edge and up in the address bar, you'll see the option to most likely install an app. You'll get exactly the same experience. Um, So there's no release date yet as you need to be running a beta version of Office to see the toggle. Um, It lasted a whole five minutes for me before I went, oh, and switched back. And as you can see, it even says Outlook on the web there. Now, also in the world of email, but not email, um, in Yammer, so with this new feature or feature update, the sender name information in Yammer's interactive emails will change from the person's username on Yammer to simply their name. Um, Now, this change will not actually change the sender address, just the display. And that's it for keeping in sync with Microsoft 365 for this week. No team stuff. Have a good week.